hello so in this video we'll see that how row operations affect the system of linear equations affect the solution of system of linear equations so at first begin with uh, a recall recollection of uh, what are row operations we usually do so there are mainly three types of row operation so type one is interchanging of rows type 2 multiply a row with a scalar here it is basically real number and type 3 is adding one row with scalar multiple of other another so to understand how the solution of a system of linear equation uh, is affected by this row operation so we con can consider an example so let us take an example of two equation with two variables x and y the first equation is 2x plus 3y equal to 5 and the second equation is 6x minus 5y equal to 1. So if you solve it, if you just multiply the first equation by 3 on both sides, you will get 6x plus 9y equal to 15 and the second equation let it be remain as it is. So if we just subtract the second one from the first one, we will get uh, 14y equal to 14. So y equal to 1. Now if we substitute y equal to 1 in any one of the equation, you will get x equal to 1. So x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 will be a solution and that is the unique solution of this system of linear equation. Now let us see uh, how this uh, row operation affect this system. So the augmented matrix for this system, basically the matrix representation of this system is like ax equal to b. Uh, where a is the matrix 2, 3, 6, minus 5. This is the coefficient matrix. x here is two variable, x, y. This is a column vector. So these are variables. And b is 5, 1. So this is ax equal to b. So the augmented matrix is Six minus five, five one, and we generally put a straight line in between these two to separate the coefficient matrix and this v vector. So this is our augmented matrix. So this is the first row. This is the second row. So the type one is basically interchanging the row. So if we interchange row one with row two, see what happens. So this will be the new matrix right so let this be denoted by a prime augmented matrix so our new a double prime will be like this so this is giving us 6 minus 5 2 3 and here we have x y it is 1 5 so what we get is 6 6 minus 5 y equal to 1 and 2x plus 3y equal to 5. So these are basically the same system of linear equation but the order of the equation are just interchange. So ordering of the equations is changed. So the type 1 of row operation is nothing but the changing of order of the equation in the system. So, it does not affect the solution of the system. Now, let us see the second type. So, the type 2 row operation was scalar multiplication of a row. Scalar multiplication 
of a row. Basically, a scalar is multiplied with a row. So, this is our row 1, this is our row 2 in the augmented matrix. So, this is the augmented matrix. So, if we uh, say multiply the first row with 3, which we have actually done uh, while we are solving the equation. So, 3 R1. So, what 3 R1 gives us? It gives us 6, 9, 15 and let uh, R2 be the same. So, it will be like this. So, this is our new augmented matrix a triple prime. So, the new equation from this we can get is 6x plus 9y equal to 15 and 6x minus 5y equal to 1. So, if we solve this then you can see that the same solution you will get x equal to y equal to 1. The same solution you will get. So, this uh, type 2 row operation will also not affect the solution of the system because we are just multiplying one equation with a scalar. So, that will not change the solution of the system. So, this type 2 is basically uh, multiplying one equation with a scalar on both sides. So, solution will not be affected or changed. The type 3 row operation was adding one row with scalar multiple of another row. So, what we are doing here? Suppose I am multiplying 3 with R1 and adding it with R2. Suppose I am doing this. So, what we will get here, the first row will remain unchanged, the second row will be 6 plus 6, it will be 12 and uh, 3 into R1, so the 3 into 3 is 9, 9 plus minus 5 that will be 4 and Three into five is fifteen plus one that will be sixteen. So this will be our new matrix. So let it write it as a tilde, just a notation here. So from this matrix we are getting two x plus three y equal to five and twelve x plus four y equal to sixteen. Now again if we solve these two then we will get x equal to y equal to 1. So, it will not uh, not change the solution of the system. Basically, uh, what we are doing here, so, we are multiplying the first equation with 3 on both sides. So, we will get a new equation that is this, which we have seen that this will not change the solution of the system. So, we will get this this will not change the solution of the system. So, this equation and we already have 2x plus 3y equal to 5. So, this is the same system. Nothing is changed here. Now, we are adding this equation with the previous equation which is 6x minus 5y equal to 1. So, if we add these two, we will get 12x plus 4y equal to 16. So, this two equation, the first equation even unchanged, this two equation is the, forms the same system and the solution will be the same. So, no change in solution again.
Hence, uh, whatever row operation we do, the solution of the system remains unchanged. We have seen in this example and that is true in general. That's why uh, in Gauss elimination, we are doing row operations to find the reduced row is long form and from the reduced row stand form we find the solution from here we find the solution and that solution matches with the original equation original solution of the equation thank you